Hey guys, it's me. Okay, so I'm kind of doing a little bit of a garden update today. Um, I'm outside and it's beautiful. It's kind of a little bit humid, but it's a really pretty day. This is the first day it hasn't poured down raining in like a week, so I felt like doing a video. If you hear vehicles passing by, um, I'm kind of close to the street here in the country. I'm at my house, so if that's what it is, if you hear cars and stuff roaming by. Um, really quick, I want to show you guys, um, my garden has been producing a lot of squash lately. I've taken it to all my relatives, mom, grandma, neighbors, everyone. Um, but this is about the average size of the squash we've been getting. Um, they're pretty good size. All of our squash have been turning out really, really well. We pick them at about this size, maybe a little bit smaller. Um, this is a pretty good size one, as you can see. But um, yeah, they've been doing pretty well. We haven't had many rot, only a couple, and we just toss them in the yard. It's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, this is about the average size. Um, we've been getting a lot of them. The squash plant is huge. I'm going to show you that. It's back here in this corner, if you can kind of see. Um, we have the fence built up really high, so nothing can get in there and eat it. Um, but it's been doing really good. Okay, the main reason I made this video is because I actually got some new fruit today. I've been trying to eat healthier, kind of. Um, you know, I'm trying to not really lose weight, but it's summertime, so you know, you kind of want to look your best, if you will. Um, and so, I've kind of been eating better, and I asked my dad to get me some dragon fruit. Um, if you don't know what dragon fruit is, I'm not sure where it's native to, but I know it's not native to, obviously, the USA, um, which is where I live in um, the United States. Um, so it's kind of hard to get your hands on and my stepmother is Filipino so she loves to go to like foreign markets and stuff to go and get all of her food and fruits and things that she loves to eat and he went today or actually yesterday and he said that they had dragon fruit and I was like are you serious you have to get me some they're kind of pricey over here because um, like I said they're not native to us um, but my dad actually was able to get me some dragon fruits and this is what they look like if you can see them really well it's known as the most beautiful fruit that there is. Um, the inside, I haven't cut it open yet. I have two of them. They're kind of pricey. They're like five or six dollars a piece, but I got two. And as you can see, they're just, they're beautiful. Um, I really can't even tell you how excited I am to be able to try this. I hear they taste like pears. I haven't tried it yet, but um, I might make a tiny video like tomorrow whenever I slice it open and kind of show you guys the inside. Um, it should be white. There's also one that is like a pinkish red inside with black seeds. This one is supposed to be white with the white seed or the black seed. So it's like sp speckled inside. It's supposed to be beautiful. All the pictures I've seen are absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful fruit. It's, um, if I had to describe the texture, it almost feels, it's not as tough as an orange. It's a little bit squishier, um, but it's still pretty solid to where it could, you know, it will, it'll hold up. I don't think it would go mushy for a while. Um, I do plan on cutting one either tonight or tomorrow um, because I'm really excited to try it. And um, I really hope it's good because I have my expectations really, really high because it is the most beautiful fruit I've ever seen. And... I've waited a really long time. I think I asked him about four months ago to try and get me some, and I don't know if they haven't been in season. I do know that they don't grow on trees. It's more of a vine, and um, the way you grow it is like you can start it in a pot, but it helps if you start it in ground, and it has to be, you know, where there's no no freezing, no frost or anything. Um, I know a lot of people grow them in California. You can do it, but it grows off a vine that once you grow it upwards, it kind of branches over like a tree, and these are produced at the end of the vine, and the, each vine almost looks like an aloe plant. That's kind of what it looks like. Um, so that's what it grows off of, and I was really, really excited to get these. Um, but I think it's, like, absolutely beautiful. And, again, whenever I cut it open, I'll show you guys um, what it looks like. But these little prickly things, I thought they would be really sharp, but they're not. You can, it, they're actually kind of smooth, but that's what the vine looks like. It kind of looks like an aloe plant, and it looks like it'd be really prickly, but it's not. So, yeah, I was really, really excited to get these. Um, I can't wait to eat them. He also brought me some lychees. Um, it's a Filipino fruit um, that my stepmom loves. Um, I've already eaten two. And at first I was kind of standoffish about it because he just wanted me to try it because she thought that I would like it. Um, but I'm really picky when it comes to fruit. That's why I'm, I have high expectations for the dragon fruit because um, I'm really excited about it. But the lychees, they're small. They look like strawberries, um, but they're not as um, like wet and smushy on the outside. They're kind of tough. Um, it reminds me of like maybe I don't know it's really rough they're not soft they're not um, they look like a strawberry they're kind of brownish reddish I guess you could say they're supposed to be brighter than this but I think since these are kind of dried out from where they've been in the store they're a little bit different um, I would peel it but we've already like peeled probably five of them and I, as you can see I have a bundle but I really want my husband to try them too um, basically you peel it and the inside looks like an eyeball is honestly what it looks like I guess I could show you I'll peel this one open. Okay. So you peel the skin off just like that, and that's how you eat it. And it looks like an eyeball. 
on the inside and it feels like an eyeball. A cow eye is ha the best way that I can describe it. Um, but it's actually pretty good. I like it. Um, my brother doesn't like it. It is an acquired taste, I would say. Um, but it's really, really good. But the best way I can describe the texture is almost like an eyeball. And a little bit of like a grape. It's kind of like an oversized grape. That's kind of, yeah, I guess that is what it reminds me of. Kind of like a grape with a strawberry outside. And you peel this off completely. I haven't even washed them. And I know it's probably really bad being as they are imported. Um, but it comes off really easily. And it looks like this. And there is a seed. There is a seed inside of this. So you eat the outside. And that's it. That's what the seed looks like. It's brown. And it, the seed actually looks like a brown grape. So, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I just wanted to show you guys the dragon fruit that I got and the lychees. Um, I think that's what they're called. They come in a bag about like this at the foreign market. I'm not sure what the market was called. I guess it would be wherever you can get like Indian or um, Filipino fruits. But yeah, I'm more excited about this though. I'm, I, I can't tell you what a treasure it is to be able to finally try one of these. Um, I'm really excited to cut it open and look at the beautiful inside. And yeah, so I hope you guys have a good day. And like I said, I will update you as to how this tastes and what it looks like. But yeah, I will see you guys later and I'll talk to you later. Bye.